G'day, I'm Stuart from Australian Clutch. Today I'm going to run through some helpful information regarding dual mass flywheels and single mass flywheels. Um, so, first of all, we're going to start with the function of the flywheel. Um, a flywheel has several different functions, the main one being um, it helps with the momentum of the engine through the firing cycles. What that does is it smooths out the engine as it idles or as it runs. So if you reduce the mass of the flywheel, it'll make it a little bit rougher. The heavier the flywheel, the little bit smoother the engine will run at idle or through its rev range. Uh, the second function of the flywheel is it also provides a base for the ring gear, which allows you to start the motor. So the ring gear, all it does is it, um, it provides leverage so that the motor can actually be rotated to assist in the starting procedure. So what we've got here is two different types of flywheels for the same type of engine. Uh, this one here is a dual mass flywheel, this one is a single mass flywheel. So why have we got two different types of flywheels? Well conventionally since the early 1900s a single mass flywheel has been adequate. But in the 21st century where vehicle manufacturers are searching for every inch of refinement possible in every vehicle and trying to make them smoother, they've come up with the dual mass flywheel. So what these flywheels do is take up a lot more rotational movement they also take up a small amount of axial movement, which a clutch disc won't, and as a result, most modern passenger diesel and petrol vehicles end up with a silky smooth drive that are almost impossible to stall. When you inspect a brand new flywheel out of the box, or if you're checking a flywheel that's come off of a vehicle, they do have a small amount of movement in the friction surface. They also have a small amount of rock, and what we have is a tool for checking or inspecting um, a flywheel that's to see if it's suitable for reuse. Um, there is a small tolerance which the manufacturers specify um, that the rotational movement or rotational free play and off-axis movement need to be within to see that they are suitable for reuse. So why would you want to convert from a dual mass flywheel to a single mass flywheel? Well there's several instances which would warrant converting to single mass such as vehicles that are constantly used for towing or high performance vehicles where the horsepower and torque has been increased these types of flywheels don't tend to stand the test of time. So when we go to a single mass flywheel, we can add a heavy duty pressure plate and a wide angle damper disc, which is much more suitable for the application. The second reason you may want to convert from dual mass flywheel to single mass flywheel is the cost. A dual mass flywheel and kit can be a little bit more expensive than a single mass flywheel and kit. In some old vehicles that run dual mass flywheels, they have depreciated to a value which can be a significant expense to replace a dual mass. A cheaper single mass flywheel and kit can be offered at a much less cost. So are there any downfalls when converting from a dual mass flywheel to a single mass flywheel? Australian Clutch Services spends a huge amount of time developing our single mass flywheel kits and as a result we always use a wide angle damper with a silent type idle suppression spring. What that does is it keeps the clutch kit as smooth and as quiet as possible whilst removing the function of the dual mass flywheel. However, there is always a small trade-off when converting to single mass. There's always a small amount of increased noise and vibration from the engine and transmission, but normally that trade-off is worth it in, for the performance benefit. So where should we apply dual mass flywheels and where should we apply single mass flywheels? Well, my recommendation to our customers is always the same. If you have a standard vehicle which is only used for daily driving and it's not used for any significant amount of towing, then normally a dual mass flywheel is adequate for your needs. However, if you do use your vehicle for towing quite a lot on the weekends or for work, or it's a performance application where you've increased the amount of horsepower or torque, then normally single mass flywheel is what's required for durability purposes mainly. For any more information, visit australianclutch.com.au or visit any one of our social media pages.